Welcome to the Bobcat News. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Liam. This week is College Application Week. College reps will be here all week. We will also be playing games in the lunchroom during lunch, and there will be prizes. Any student who's wearing any college university shirt, make sure to come down to the office to get a prize. Seniors, if you have filled out an application or scholarship, make sure to go to the counseling office to enter the raffle to win a scholarship. The Madison High School Swing Machine Jazz Band is starting auditions next week. If you are interested in auditioning for Jazz Band, we are especially looking for guitar players, pianists, and vocalists. Talk with Mr. Klingler in the band room before or after school. Come to the Bobcat Boogie on this Saturday night at 9. Tickets are $10. Those wanting to participate in, the, in a pumpkin carving contest need to have their pumpkins carved and brought to Mr. Fillmore's room, 611, on Friday before the end of school. These will be displayed at the dance. Please make sure it is school appropriate and don't forget your rad dance moves. AP students, your AP exam decision must be marked in the AP portal as well as the exam fee must be completed by November 1st or there is a late fee involved. You know those annoying emails you receive reminding you to return your overdue books? I sure do. We'll put a stop to them by returning your, your books starting now until the end of October. If you return your overdue book to the librarian, you'll receive a piece of candy in exchange. No fines either. Remember that students put books on hold and they wait anxiously for you to return your book. The marching band won first in their division and took awards for best music, best visual, best color guard, and best percussion at the Mountain West Marching Inventational at ISU. They also took home the Gem State Trophy, which goes to the highest scoring Idaho band at the competition. There are 20 bands from Idaho, Utah, and Nevada. The performance video can be found on madisonband.org. The French Club's first activity is Thursday in room 217 during lunch at 2.35. Ramaya Pierre will be demonstrating a Haitian folk dance. She worked hard to learn this dance and will be wearing a colorful, traditional costume. Come check it out. Looks like the Spanish club, Es Muy Divertido. The Spanish club met this Tuesday for their bi-monthly meeting to celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day. Everyone brought their lunch and enjoyed learning about the Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas. As the meeting started, the president of the Spanish club, Ruger Jenkins, gave them a brief message about the Indigenous people. Mrs. Graffel then stood up and helped educate the kids about the Mayan culture. They then talked, watched videos, and ate some food. Then that's mouthful. Anyway, three great civilizations, the Inca, the Aztec, and the Mrs. Mayan. Graffel brought apples from her own tree, some hot tamales, and one of the members, Ella, even brought Mayan chocolate muffins. Near the end of the meeting, Graffel turned on a music video about indigenous people, which was a big hit. They ended the meeting with some socializing and even some dancing. Wow, muy bien. What's new in sports, Allie? Thanks, Liam. District swimming is this week. State cross country and volleyball this weekend. Back to you guys. Thanks, Allie. And seniors, don't forget to turn in your senior photos for the yearbook. There's 200 of us that have not turned it in yet, including me. Remember, Ew. no props. Thanks for joining us, and please stand for the pledge. I forgot how this